Hi everybody. Hi guys. Diva's on a dime here and we talked about this topic on our live but it needs to be addressed even more and we're going to title it Don't Hate Create. And we just want to put this message out there because we do want to encourage you know other people on the live just with any kind of any kind of thing that you're trying to do with your life or anything that you're trying to pursue whether you want to do social media or you know cosplay twitch youtube any of that stuff you know if it's something that you love you're not hurting anybody you continue to do it regardless of what people say right so with that don't let naysayers discourage you and christy had has a new term for them she's like people on the sidelines because y'all know how they be doing they always always have something to say mm -hmm. and like she said on the sidelines they not doing nothing but they hiding behind a profile most of the time not even their picture is up there and they say things that's discouraging yeah and it's just like you know things that are meant to to tear you down mm -hmm. and to discourage you from you know whatever it is that you're doing and it's because you know they're jealous for one they see the potential and they don't want to do anything but at the same time they don't want to see you do anything either right and just to kind of you know follow up with that further for anybody that's like you know that does cosplay think about like when you go to like the conventions when you're outside of like the convention right. safety net right and you venture out to go grab lunch dinner what have you or you're going back to your hotel room there's always those people there's always somebody that you know maybe they don't understand what it is, what cosplay is or whatever but they may recognize the character that you're doing they stop you they may talk to you for a little bit but they're all like well why are you dressed up in a costume mm -hmm. it's not halloween so you know i don't see why you need to be dressed up like that right and you don't you don't have, owe that person an explanation sure don't if you like doing cosplay or any of the other things that we mentioned you do it that's right and you just tell them that exactly and everyone will have an opinion so that's one thing you just always have to keep in mind everyone is going to have an opinion and you can't please everyone because you trying to please everyone you're going to drive yourself bonkers and before you know it it's like you set out to start doing one thing a project or whatever and then before you know it it's turned into something else that you don't even recognize right because you've kept changing it and molding it to whatever taste or palette of other people and it's like at the end of the day you may not even want to do it anymore because you're trying to produce content or whatever for other people you know and, right and with that they need to just do their own thing you know if they don't like you you know i be like look there's content for everyone so if you don't like what someone's posting or whatever they're doing go find somebody else that piques your interest or simply start your own but you know with that to follow up with you know be yourself always be yourself whatever that you're whatever you're trying to do be yourself don't try to be anything else but yourself because it is too hard for one to keep up with a bunch of nonsense that doesn't suit you mm -hmm. and it is so much easier to just be yourself it is and you know as far as with like content you know you're a content creator you're doing twitch you're doing youtube or patreon whatever if people if people don't like your content that's fine right. they can move on there's plenty of content out there to suit you know everybody else right. and you know people that do like you and appreciate you they will gravitate towards mm -hmm. your content you don't have to you know worry about numbers or about what other people have to say and there's people that are going to like it and you you know you accept the compliments and things like that 
and move on. Mm-hmm. And the people that, you know, have criticisms, okay, thank you. And well, like you know I said, leave it there. Yeah, and like like I said, they need to simply create their own stuff. If they don't like what they see, find somebody else you like or create your own. And, you know, also keep in mind, you know, don't do social media media with the intentions of becoming famous. You know, do it because it's what you you know, like you're doing something that you love. Because again, if you're having the mindset of trying to do something to be famous, like I said, you're going to drive yourself crazy because you're like, especially like with like, uh, I'll say like Instagram or YouTube, you know, if you're just concerned with the numbers, oh, my following count, my following count, it has to constantly go up. It's like, you're going to drive yourself crazy. Cause what if, like I said, people decide to unfollow you and it, you know, significantly drops. And that stuff does happen. And it, yes, you, you're going to be highly upset cause you put, you, you put so much into that, you know, worrying about numbers. Do it, like Chrissy's saying, do it because you want to do it, you know, because you love the content that you're creating, not because you're trying to please everyone and you want everyone to just, you know, follow you. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, and also to kind of just, like, you know, piggyback on that, like, I mean, with, like, fame, you know, you try if you're if that's your goal like chasing after like you know one trend after another just to bring like you know traffic to whatever it is that you're doing like at the end of the day if it doesn't pan out the way that you want to Mm -hmm. and you're just that's like your ultimate goal you're gonna be like you just said you're just gonna be driving yourself crazy yeah and you're gonna be very unhappy you're gonna be a miserable soul because that's all you was concerned about and to follow up with that use the platform to help people most importantly you know if you are blessed enough to have a large following like we had talked about before use it as a blessing to help others you know, promoting positivity and all that. Don't use it in a negative light. Yeah, like, especially, like, right now, um, with all of those different things that are happening with, like, um, race relations and things like that, like, use the, use the platform to, like, speak out on that. Yeah. Um, you know, supporting black business. You know, right now, you, I mean, some people you know may not be able to support monetarily and buy something Mm -hmm. and that's okay but you do have a platform that you can give a shout out on you can share the um, location of their store website whatever in your story on instagram or share it on your twitch or youtube just as a brief thing and you know do it genuinely yes do it because you're you know wanting to not because you're looking to get something out of it but do it because at the bottom of your heart that's because you you know you felt that you wanted to do that right you know and with that being said though you know you put out good things good things will come back to you yes yes most definitely and always remember to stay humble if you know god has blessed you to get there because remember where you came from rem- yes all of that you know keep god first Mm-hmm. keep god first in all things that you do so i hope you know that you know whoever listens to this will take something from it you know and share it for others and um until next time bye, bye.